This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Fire Alarms Are Cool. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's going on, people? Fish Fam Cory Gang. Welcome back to another Fish for Thought video. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Millie Day. I notice you, senpai. Be gone. Are you saying I'm boring, Millie? Are you saying this show is boring? How dare you? Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. So glad you guys made it today. And you know what? It's time for some Fish Tank Review. Fish tank review. She didn't like that. That's actually incredibly beautiful, but he's got to put the live bearers in there. I thought it was goldfish at first. That would have been horrendous, but they're guppies. Looks like sunset guppies. Is this the same guy that plays guitar? Ichita or whatever? Like he's crazy with the electric guitar. He has the same style. Not gonna lie, this table is made of dreams and I love stuff like this. It sounds like a gimmick, yes, like a half table, half aquarium thing. I get that. But this is done so marvelously well. It's just naturally carved into the wood. It's the perfect tea table. It creates this zen, especially if there's a tiny little bit of flow going through it. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know exactly what the dimensions are, for the volume of water it's holding, but I feel like it is on the small side. Really glad he did not put any goldfish in it and opted out for some live bearers. That is probably the single most best choice to stock something like this with. Any tea that's spilled onto the wood, you gotta mop that up quick or else it'll go into the tank and boiling hot water infused with caffeine. I don't know if that's the best necessarily for fish, but hear me out, okay? When I had the chance to visit Hawaii quite some time ago, I went on a hike and and to my surprise, there was this mini waterfall stream sort of thing. And there were levels to it with little pools forming here and there. And I saw wild guppies. They were living in these micro habitats. And it was an amazing thing to see. It was my first time seeing wild guppies. And this kind of habitat resembles what I saw in nature. In a way, this kind of rugged sort of very naturalistic stream habitat resembles more to the natural environment of a guppy than our fish tanks, or at least some of them. I'm gonna rate this a four out of five, just because I don't know the exact dimensions and I feel like maybe it's easily overstocked or it's too shallow and I'm not sure about the tea situation. Again, I don't want it to spill over into the fish tank, but it could be a very quick, very easy five out of five and beyond. What do you guys think about this? Are you vibing with it or nah, straight no? I'll tell you what I am vibing with. Easy Green by Aquarium Co-op. It's easy and it keeps your fish tanks green, especially the low-tech aquariums. Those once a week for low light, those twice a week for medium light, one pump per 10 gallons, that's it. You know, most of us keep a low-tech aquarium for a reason. We want to enjoy the tank more than we have to do maintenance and upkeep on it. And Easy Green by Aquarium Co-op allows just that. 10 gallons seen on FB Marketplace. What a loophole. They don't allow for fish to be sold on FB Marketplace, but it doesn't matter if your fish tank is so foggy that there's no fish to be seen. I can smell that through the screen a hundred percent. That is putrid. And I might actually see a fish there, so kind of breaking the rules there, but that water is viscous. It's vicious, yes, but that's not the word I said. I said viscous. Pour that water and it's gonna pour slower than normal water. The water really do be lagging. One FPS. I thought Millie was sleeping for a second. <laughs> Bro, you were just napping. Must be a great life, Millie. Do that thing where you try to show me where my food is again. Oh, pain, too real. My life, me, Earl. He can sense the urgency in the taps when his food is sinking down and I know he won't eat it later. Ugh, I feel this on a spiritual level. When I see the movement of our hands when we're close to the tank, they're just trying to get into the glass because they know the food is coming and they're super excited, but they don't know that the food is behind them. Just look up. And the food is sinking and they have no idea where it's going. Uh, it's gonna mess up the water parameters and they'll still be hungry. They're smart fish, don't get me wrong, but oh my goodness. Eva Tate sent in their honey garami fish tank. Looks like a 20 gallon long. It's also got Corridor's Catfish, Mystery and Nerite Snails, and a Hillstream Loach. Kept the aquascape simple and cute. Oco stones all throughout the tank with this nice piece of wood stretching across. Some easy light plants like Anacurus, Java Fern, Marimo Moss Ball. Nothing wrong with this. Perfect size, perfect husbandry, might even be understocked. Eva, you're getting the Chur's stamp of approval for husbandry. Ah, 4.45 out of 5. What? Also, where are the fish? I have beautiful decor that I spent a lot of money on. I have about 20 different fish. Some is very rare to find all community fish also have a 55 gallon tank if you interested in just two fish only you can get all the fish for $50 oh 
<laughs> this looks like one of my sister's forgotten drawers full of toys that she used to play with when she was two. But somehow you've taken that notion and transformed it beautifully into this immaculate fish tank. Just look at it. You are right though, where are the fish? What kind of rare fish does this thing have? <laughs> it's one of those spot the difference things. I see one gray fish. Mm, one gray fish, very nice, very nice. Well, for once, it's not overstocked. I see only one fish in the visual assault. That is the decor. Uh, you know, I think when they say rare fish, they meant in their fish tank, it's very rare to see a fish. I made a tutorial for installing fake plants. Hey, got me in the first tab, not gonna lie. This is and should be the only style of tutorial for installing fake plants. Such realism and naturality to it. That plant is looking so healthy, so vibrant. I love the blue roots. Fish tank sent in by Harrison B. Harrison spotting a corner heavy scape, highlighting those beautiful pieces and beautiful, interesting lines of wood. Going in with a java fern, a nubius, maybe a sword in the back. Just quick tip with the java fern, make sure to take it out of the substrate. Dark substrate substrate looking pretty nutritious. Mm. You want some dark substrate, girl? Yeah? Okay. Guess what Millie just did? You nasty girl. Hardscape on point, substrate on point, the plants understock. 4.35 out of 5, keep it up. This fish tank sent in by Like a Wolf. Very simple, I don't know if it's finished yet, but even if it is finished, hey, I'll take it. You got the Oko Stone. It's actually quite a nice array. I will consider moving the big piece a little bit to the back. This will really double down and create even more of like a opening, like the center of your fish tank is surrounded by Oko Stone. I will consider a sand substrate, maybe fertilize with some potting mix or some fluval stratum, something like that. Root tabs from Aquarium Koa. Because in my opinion, when the scape is simple and the fish tank is small, you tend to not want to use messier, more eye-catching substrate. It'd be great to go with a neutral like a white or black and let what little space you have for hardscape pop. A few light plants wouldn't hurt either. Curious to see what you are going to put in this tank. For now, a 3 out of 5, keep it up. If you're 20 to 30 and your main circle isn't discussing shrimp farming and aquaponics, survivability of various shrimp breeds, ornamental shrimp, shrimp enlargement, <laughs> shrimp nutrient suppliers, this is drawing very funny parallels. Optimal algae load and it's time to find a new circle. Remember, your network is your net worth. Incredible advice. The shrimp on Wall Street. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, knowledge. Hellraiser 1994. Wow. It's messy, but there is order and it's very natural as well. I think that is Seiru stone and he laid upon it some wood pieces, beautiful lines of wood. It works so well. It almost looks like the wood is embedded in the rockscape. And then there's bryophytic plants that are embedded throughout everything. There's Ludwigia. There's bushier plants in the back. He's trying to do a carpet in the front. Hair grass might be baby tears, understock, perhaps with a bed of fish, black background, nice clean substrate looking fertilized, little details like those pebbles. Like Marco Pierre White usually says, perfection is doing a lot of small things very well. And that is certainly true in the fish tank aquascaping hobby. 4.6 out of 5, keep it up. Why do they always fill it around 50%? There are three goldfish. That looks like an ADA level clean glass aquarium. I cannot believe I'm seeing this. At least there's live plants, but at that point, it doesn't really help much at all. And it could all go to crap if the lighting is insufficient. I don't see a lighting unit. Elodia is like a floater-esque easy plant, but if there's no lighting, it is very known to just rot away within a week. Just like hornwort, lose all its needles. Bat tanks were at one point filled to 100%, but they never do water changes or maintenance, so it evaporates to 50%. That makes a whole bunch of sense. Very philosophical. Bat tanks were once good tanks to a degree. It's all up to the owner. This got me interested because now I want to see just a series of bad tanks that are from ADA or UNS, high quality, high clarity, sapphire glass, and see what these bad owners, awful owners, will do with such expensive and exquisite glass. That is an intense zero out of five from me. Blake Huser sent this fish tank in. You know, it's not going to be my favorite, but there are some things I do like, like the plain background, nice and clean, substrate as well, understocked. This is probably a fluval flex and a big one, or it's just because of the fish eye lens and it's making it look like a fluval flex. No, it's not. It doesn't have the telltale signs on the upper top of the fish tank. I got played. What I'm saying is like, congratulations. You plagued yourself. This is like the poor boy's fluval flex. <laughs> there are maybe a few live plants, like some java ferns, but for the most part it's artificial and the SpongeBob artificial decor. I'm not able to go over a 2.5 out of 5 for just artificial decor primarily, but because the husbandry I feel like is there and it's not over the top, keep it up Blake, you get the max score for an artificial tank. Fish should not be decoration. Tell me something. Preach. Looks like a graduation gift. They really... <laughs> 
I mean, look at that top one. They just cramming. It would be better to leave that out of there, okay? Not only are you just destroying these lives, you gotta fill it up with tacky crap. Imagine you're in prison. Your decor is like from Hello Kitty, and you're like a hard criminal. I guess at that point they deserve that. But these fish ain't done nothing wrong except be born, apparently. Everything else is fake. So why don't you just replace the fish with fake fish? Sick, bro. Congratulations on your graduation. Seems like you learned nothing. Just throwing money away at this point. My biggest fear is that when I die. My wife will sell my plecos for what I told her they cost. We have a conundrum here. Do you tell her the full price? But who's out here thinking about them dying and fearing that the plecos are not going to be sold for as much? You dead, bro. You don't have to worry about that no more. You can get as many plecos as you want in heaven. Polarsaurus Rex is old goldfish tank. Who the heck is that? And what the heck is this? I'm assuming it's like a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer. We've seen a few of these. Everyone except for Micro Reeves is on my hit list. Man, this fish is gonna be extinct soon, like the dinosaurs. Just like what your username suggests. Polarsaurus Rex. That bro is definitely a Roblox content creator. Hey, nothing against Roblox content creators, but I have heard some really nasty things about what's going on on Roblox. And on that note, welcome back to the end of the video, homies. Thank you so much for your support, pushing the algorithm, stay until the end. The true supporters of FFT, you already know, you've been waiting all episode for this. Got to it! Okay, dial it back. It's getting a little out of control. You know what's out of control? This question of the week, all right? Y'all ready for this? Things are going down, son. Millie or Rapashi? That's that's it. Take it however you want. Hey, Millie. Or Rapashi. Peace. I'm out. I'm out, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot. Coming in hot. Ventral fin die. Acclimate that. With my shoal at. Cure my fin rot. From Carisiformes to Parachirodon. Hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict. Like fanatic. I'm a baddest. No tabs. Only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal. Black Tetra go skirt. We came to play. Came to silence. Gang.